Thomas, the tank engine, has worked his branch line for many years and knows it very well. You know just where to stop, Thomas, laughed his driver. You could almost manage it without me. Thomas had become conceited. He didn't realize his driver was joking. He boasted to the others. Driver says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go without my driver, said Toby earnestly. I'd be frightened. Huh, boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. You'd never dare. I would then. You'll see. Next morning, the firelighter came. Thomas drowsed comfortably as the warm spit threw his boiler. Percy and Toby were still asleep. Thomas suddenly remembered. Silly stick in the muds, he chuckled. I'll show them. Driver said I could manage without him. I'll just go out. Then I'll stop and wheesh. That'll make them jump. Thomas thought he was being clever. Really, he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his controls. He soon found his mistake. He tried to wee, but he couldn't. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors! cried Thomas and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled. Plaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travel. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. The station master was furious. His wife picked up her plate. You miserable engine, she scolded. Just look what you've done to our breakfast. Now I shall have to cook some more. She banged the door. More faster fell. This time, it fell on Thomas. Thomas felt depressed. Workmen propped up the house with strong poles and laid rails through the garden. Meanwhile, Donald and Douglas arrived. Bash yourself, Thomas. We'll soon have you back on the rails. They laughed. Donald and Douglas, puffing hard, managed to haul Thomas back to safety. Bits of fencing, the bush, and a broken window frame festooned his front which was badly twisted. The twins laughed and left him. Thomas was in disgrace. There was worse to come. You are a very naughty engine. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Thomas's voice was muffled behind his bush. You must go to the works and have your front mended. It will be a long job. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, a diesel rail car will do your work. A d d diesel, sir? Thomas spluttered. Yes, Thomas. Diesels always stay in their sheds till they are wanted. Diesels never gallivant off to breakfast in station masters' houses.